Well, it's uh, fall and it's a beautiful time of year out in the perennial garden and I really enjoy being out here right now weeding, cutting back a little, although I try not to cut too much stuff back. Why be so aggressive about it when, after all, the stuff standing through the winter is going to give you a little bit of winter interest where if everything's down to the ground, it's not very interesting at all, right? A little bit of flocks behind me here and over here I've got uh, some Rudbeckia herta. This is a tall growing uh, type of Rudbeckia. Great pollinator plants. And down here I'm standing in a carpet of Lamium. Look at this stuff. Holy smokes, I've got a good crop of that. Uh, Lamium's pretty good for pollinators too, I noticed. We have uh, we have honeybees on the property and um, Honeybees are very busy in the Lamium right now. It's sort of the second flowering. They flowered a little earlier on and now they're flowering again. And here we are. See that little guy? There he is. There he is. And off he goes. Um, and then over here I've got my meadow. And my meadow is also perennial for the most part. You can see a crop of uh, goldenrod back there. Goldenrod, by the way, is the new milkweed. And uh, Helicopters are the new airplanes during COVID, you know, who knew? Um, we've got lots of milkweed out here too and all kinds of stuff that I grow intentionally some of it and some of it Mother Nature has found her way in here and she's just doing a great job of providing nutrients, providing habitat for wildlife and isn't that really what it's all about? You thought it was about the plants, not really. The plants are a link to a much bigger picture. Mark Cullen and Ben Cullen, markcullen.com.